Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and question is more of a scenario that you have a 24 processors on a system where multiple SQL Server instances needs to be installed, and you have to divide those 24 processors according to the requirement on each SQL Server instance that's running on a particular system. Well, if I read question right, uh, it means that uh, there is a server and there are 24 processors and server has multiple SQL Server instances which means they are a uh, system task any SQL Server that runs on a system uh, it has a .exe it has a processor so when we talk about the processors uh, different processors running on a, a particular system then we're talking about system tasks so if system has 24 processors um, I would use um, CPU affinity in the um, operating system uh, rather than SQL Server uh, handling itself. However, um, there are multiple ways to do it. Uh, number one is uh, setting up a CPU affinity, which I will show you in a second. And number two, if there is, um, if you wanted to balance the workloads coming to a particular one SQL Server instance, and there are six CPUs uh, uh, assigned to that particular SQL Server instance, you can play with that using Resource Governor. But I wouldn't use, this is my personal preference, I wouldn't use uh, SQL Server um, uh, Resource Governor to divide system CPUs among different SQL Server instances. It wouldn't do that. To me, uh, when I, you know, played with uh, SQL uh, Resource Governor, it is actually instance-based. It depends on that particular instance where you're set it, set, setting it up. It, it works more towards uh, uh, requests coming to SQL Server. Uh, the, the workload, the application workload, that's coming to a particular instance. So my answer to this question would be use um, CPU affinity of operating system, which I'm going to show you real quick. Here is my SQL Server. I'm going to, uh, here's my server that I'm going to get into right now. And let's say that this particular server has more instances running. Right now I have just one SQL Server instance running. Let's say that it has more SQL Server instance running, and I wanted to divide. Uh, also, this has one CPU, so this is not a kind of good example, but I just wanted to show you just for demonstration purposes. So, if you right click, you go to Task Manager. This is these are all the processes running on this particular server. So, if you right click and go to the detail of that of these uh, services right here which you can click on detail as well so right click let's say there are four of uh, what 24 process uh, how many multiple instances let's say there are 12 instances let's say there are, I would reduce the instances six instances all those six uh, instances are running and all those processes will be here and if you click right click on that particular instance you can set the affinity right there and let's say I had uh, like uh, 24 CPUs like uh, it's in the question I can choose those CPUs that I wanted to divide I wanted CPU 0 1 2 these three CPU goes to SQL Server 1 CPU 3 4 5 so I wanted to go to instance 2 so to me this is the best answer you should uh, do it from here however I will show you another option that is a resource governor that to me that is more like a governing the resource of a particular SQL Server instance and the resource means CPU memory um, and IO operations of a particular SQL Server so I'm gonna show you that right quick but um, my answer to this question is that you're gonna use uh, the affinity uh, in operating system uh, CPU affinity up here set affinity you can do that using task manager or you can do it from administrative task so let me quickly show you from the SQL Server point of view we're gonna connect with SQL Server this is my instance and I'm going to connect with it and up here when you go to the management you will see the resource governor right here uh, by default resource governor is disabled you need to enable it and once you enable it then you can go through the resource pools uh, and divide the resources that was assigned to this particular SQL Server instance 
and then play with that and uh, manage those resources so this this is the uh, couple options uh, uh, so far and if you right click on that to set the affinity of a particular instance uh, you could do that right right click go to properties and go to processors all the processes if you have multiple processes they, and uh, they will show up here but again if there are multiple instances running and I have uh, uh, um, not shared all the CPUs because I have set the affinity right then and only six processes is running this uh, processors are running this particular instance and only six processors are shared with this instance then you can only it'll show only those three uh, uh, processors that uh, this SQL Server is using so make sure that you distinct you understand the difference between uh, having uh, uh, instance on a particular system to divide the CPU using affinity or a, a resource governor um, or um, setting up the the uh, IO affinity in uh, processor affinity in SQL Server and I hope it helps